Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Have you clicked on the notification bell? If you haven't, please do so now. On YouTube, subscribe now. Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Is a daily divine tonic to set us right for a fruitful and profitable day. Wake up to it daily. First thing before you do any other thing, a songwriter wrote, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed trinity. Yes, early in the morning, as you wake up, seek God first. Let that be your lifestyle the rest of your days. Do so. Listen to the audio ministration and then read the portion of the day in the daily devotional booklet called Turning Point Daily with Femi Emmanuel. It is published monthly. Available in both hard and soft copies. Subscribe for it online with a token. Send a chat message to Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero on how to subscribe or renew your subscription. You will also learn how to read your Bible through in one year. Portion to read daily to read the Bible through in a year. Subscribe today. Welcome also to Monday, the thirteenth day in November. 2023, please open your hand and heart to receive and be responding with Amen. I receive it. May this week open for you on a good note. I can hear the sound of abundance of rain in your direction this week. God will make this week special for you and all those connected to you. In the midst of challenges all over the world, including the environment where you are, God will cause his light to shine on you. He will make you exceptional. That individual person or a group of people mandated by God to be of support and assistance to you to give you information and connection will show up on time. I have an urge in my spirit today to pray for all those in executive positions. If you occupy a management position, if you are the one responsible for taking tough decisions, operating policies, managing human, material, and financial resources, many look up to you. And your decisions will affect the organization, the government agencies, the parastatas. You should pretend and supervise, and all supervisors, managers, MD CEOs, director generals, president and general secretary of organization and NGOs, including general overseers of churches and heads of families. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Please open your hand for these prayers. God will see you through. Touch your forehead gently. Receive unusual wisdom like Solomon. Receive insight and knowledge for success. You will succeed in that assignment. You will make a huge breakthrough. Every decision you make will be God-led and God-sent. You will not do this under tension. You will not take wrong decisions and make wrong choices. You will achieve uncommon and unparalleled success and result. These assignments will not fail in your hand. Receive good health and strong body for performance. God will prosper all you undertake and all the work in your hand. In Jesus' name, say amen. I receive it. Please anoint yourself regularly. Speak to your day and speak to your life. As you pursue your assignment, you will finish strong. Then a lot upon a lot. I'm hearing prophesy a lot upon a lot. Please touch or raise your cell phone gently as a point of contact. Be responding with amen, I receive it. Receive grace for a lot upon a lot. Good money will reach you this week. Your market, your goods, your services, and everything you do will sell. We sell so much this week. Good people will remember you for financial blessing. You shall record high turnover. I prophesy new customers and clients. Those who have what you need will locate you on time. Those of you that have to meet a target, you will meet it with ease. I see seven figures, eight figures, 
10 to 12 figures says you will prosper. You will be rich, wealthy, and healthy. You will also prosper spiritually in Jesus' name. Always remember to give God his own portion in your earning. Pay your tithe and sow your seed. That will keep your heavens open and your reign of abundance falling. November 13th celebrant, your prayers. May God bless you. Your bad day is blessed. The next three and six five days of your life shall be full of signs and wonders. You will live long. You will live well in Jesus' name. Listeners, welcome to a two-week journey, 14 days journey into knowledge, wisdom, through insightful teachings that are frank, deep, scriptural, and practical. Listen, imbibe, and apply what you daily receive here. We do this through questions and situations of life sent in by belief by listeners in form of questions all over the world. Send yours if you have any, or send the one you sent before that we have not been able to treat. So, let's go. First teaching today. Good morning, Pastor. My wife is from family of failed marriages, and this has affected her as she has broken our marriage of over 25 years. The last broken marriage in that family was that of her brother last year. Should I remarry? Wow. Why are you so prejudicial and judgmental? Why? A marriage of 25 years broken, and you said your wife broke it. It takes two in a marriage to break the marriage. Why blame her alone? After all, you are the husband, supposed to be the head of that union. You are supposed to manage your home in wisdom. For your information, I am from a family with many failed marriages. My father married more than one wife. I have aunties and uncles, sisters and brothers with problematic marriages. Some have even broken. Mine did not fail. Mine has not broken and will not break over 40 years running. No, 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 no. This mindset is wrong. Go back to your wife and make peace. I wish I could get her to also talk to me. Listeners, marriage is a sacred institution. We cannot just be asking, should I remarry? Should I remarry? On issues we can resolve. No. The next person you want to marry, you think he or she is an angel? God hates divorce. Let's do all we can to make our marriage work. Next, I have a question, sir. After losing my job, my wedding slated for 3rd November was cancelled because my supposed mother-in-law to be died. Sir, I'm confused, shattered, and worried. Do you think something is wrong with me? As I don't have a job as now, and not yet married at 35, I'm a master degree holder. God help me. Wow, I'm treating this question not just for this person asking, but for all of for us all. If we have planned or slated an important program such as this wedding, we don't pray for our loved ones, mother, father, sister, or brother-in-law to die. But this is life. Things do happen. If such a thing happens, we can scale down the ceremony, but we should not cancel it. Our canceling it does not bring back the dead. The sentiment of what people will say, or does that not look inhuman, should not abort such an event. The devil can capitalize on it and totally abort the program. Well, pray and believe God you will get another job and you will marry. Follow our teachings here on warfare prayer strategy. Engage it and on choosing who to marry. Don't be discouraged or shattered as you have said. Don't be depressed or don't give up. Your time will come. Next, Daddy, is it true that Holy Communion should be taken only in churches and nowhere else, not even in homes, or given by anyone except pastors? Please shed more light on this, more anointing, sir. Wow, that teaching is not correct. Read Acts chapter 2, verses 42 through to 47. The early church met for fellowship in homes, breaking bread, which is communion, in fact, on a daily basis, what we call houses today. A family can take communion. An individual also can take communion, as we do on this platform every Saturday. And remember, in First Peter chapter 2, verse 9, it says we are a generation of priests. We are a peculiar people. 
So the fact that the teaching that only a pastor can administer Holy Communion is also wrong. It's not correct. You and I, by what Jesus did, we are a generation of priests, a royal priesthood, the Bible says. Wow. There are so many questions and situations here too long to read and treat. Please make your right stop as short, your right up as short as possible. Our time here on turning point is so short. It does not permit reading and treating long write ups. Long write up may be the reason your question has not been treated and your testimonies have not been shared. Please summarize and resend. Please rebroadcast it to all of your contacts. Do so daily. Join us later today for Monday's edition of Ask Your Question Broadcast. We treat up to 18, sometimes 20 and above questions there on Ask Your Question Broadcast. Mondays and Fridays, time is 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Nigeria time. Send the reminder chart that will be sent to you to all on your contact so that we can have a better traffic. Have you paid your tithe and sow your seed on your income lately? Six things happen to committed, devoted, and faithful titles and sea sowers. One, God opens the heavens of abundance on them. Two, God positions destiny helpers for them and their children at critical junctions of life. Three, God walls off all evil arrows and devour and protect them from devourers. Four, God fights their battles. Five, their seeds produce great harvest. And six, eternal reward and crown of glory in heaven when life is over. That is why I regularly emphasize it. Oh, somebody said, why is he talking about tithe and seed every day? Because that is the key. And because many people are joining and they need to hear. I was plagued for several years because nobody taught me this. Do it. It is voluntary. No one is forced. But it is true. God cannot see sacrifice and not be moved. Please read Luke chapter 6 verse 38, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 6 to 7, Ecclesiastes 11 verse 1, and Psalm 20 verses 1 to 3 to further establish this truth. Giving, sowing, tithing, and sacrifice is the whole essence of life. I prophesy to everyone's life today, may God open bigger doors for you. May you go further and never go bankrupt. May the power of God surround you. All the good things you have in mind to achieve this day, this week, this month, this year, shall be made possible with ease. The Lord bless you and surround you with destiny helpers. What God cannot do is not alive. Everything God can do. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day. TPGF. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Have you clicked on the notification bell? If you haven't, please do so now. On YouTube, subscribe now.